So today we're at Port Sunlight for the Toy Fair. Isn't Lovely it, location. Isn't it beautiful building? It's not what we usually come to, is it? No, no. They're very much more modern these days, aren't they? But this is a beauty. Inside and out though. Yeah, let's go and take a look because it's starting to rain. <laughs> come on then. Oh, no, it's absolutely gorgeous. In really good condition as well. Yeah. Let's start here with some teddies. Can I just say, Bobby, these are not dog friendly. <laughs> oh, look at this. That little tin plate train there. That's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Where's he going? Anything of interest? Well, there's always something of interest. The, the, the problem is finding some... Oh, you like that one? Yeah. I've not seen that one before. Airfix. Can I have a... You want to loot too? <laughs> yeah, why not? They are all different. Yeah. yeah. This one's St. Helens. About a million miles from here. Um, that's... Might be one of them actually. That's a day pole, twelve pounds. Looks like an ex LMS coach. There's quite a few of them. Bit twelve. There's some Airfix ones. Twelve as well. So we've got them, but we've got them in the the British Railways red. Tomorrow the same in there. We don't see many item. 50p <laughs> items, do we? Can I just say? There's another, that's not the same as ours, that's a, looks like a Triang caboose. That says £2, but it's in the 50p box. So you never know. You never know, do you? And we also have Oops, these old tin metal plate. Yeah, tin plate, I guess, yeah. Mambi oh, wow. Dublo coaches. I mean, if you. You are into this. It's not terribly expensive to get a decent set going, is it? No, no. Yeah. So that's looking awfully old... rusty though underneath. But you're not going to see under it. You can clean it up. Oh. So at 50 pence, it is definitely a bargain. Can I see what's in here? Oh, it's, uh, some track pins oh, in a triangle box. That's nice, actually. You're not tempted? Uh, no, no, we'll keep looking. It's got an old lemur. Tanker. About wheels. Yeah, again, old Triang stuff. So there's another 50p box here. <laughs> yeah. and that looks like remains of an old um, Triang track cleaning coach. So, you know, you, you find a few bits and you put them together to make what you want. And it's sometimes nice to create something as well. It's a Lima one, but it's actually got the Lima You don't logo have to see on. that on the no. window, do you? No, it's quite nice, that. Not bad for 50 pence, is it? No, not at all. Quite tempting. I know I don't particularly like Lima wagons, but everybody has a price. What's this one? Sportsman chewing gum. You've not heard of that one. No, what? That's very clean. It's a Graham Farish one, that. Oh, is it? Yeah. Does that mean it's a different size? No, 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 it's double O. Oh, right, okay. Lovely wheels, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. There are a couple of this... missing, it just needs a roof putting on. You could take that off another wagon, but Sportsman's chewing gum. Yeah, I've not heard of that one. No, I haven't. It's... <laughs> It's got some wheels inside. There's some spare wheels with it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Trix Twin because you have two locos running on the same line under separate control. Oh, right, okay. Get out of your way. That's good, isn't it? Oh, mm. for who we are, where we are. It's Nick Lowe. <laughs> it's an interesting livery, that. 
Lima 73. Oh, that one? Oh, okay. said Porter. Right. We've got some Lima 33s for 20 and 30 pounds. It's a little one, well, it's it? been detailed at the front, hasn't it, as well? Oh, right. It's also been repainted. Because the Lima ones, it's actually a yellow plastic that they just leave unpainted. So it's a, oh. the, the colour isn't the most accurate. This one's been painted just to give it a bit more realism. Right. And it looks like it's also had windscreen wipers added on. That is so cute though, isn't it? I like that. And there's another one there for £30. Mm. Oh, that's so we'll see if these are still here when we come round again. Got a few dinky toys. Yeah, they? they are very nice. Yeah, I'm just looking at that Lotus thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, that isn't it? Mm. I've still got one Yeah, a Sorry? Nice. Mm. You like your cars, That's don't you? Right. right, come on then. I'm still looking here for a bit. Can I look <laughs> at the cars? Have you, have you got the dog? Yeah. Boss has joined us. No, no, no. It was a gift. Oh, my yeah. Last, my last Start at the beginning, see if they can tell you about the, the desky bit. Uh, no, <laughs> Have you seen these little I tank engines in here? Yeah. yeah. You like the little cute ones, don't you? I do. What's that one there? That's the same as yours. It's slightly different colour. In back. I think it's that polystyrene, you have to move it back out of the yeah. way. There we go. Yeah. We've got a black one there with a big silver dome. And that's like a foreign one, doesn't it? Yeah. The one called Roger. <laughs> I like Only we buy that for. <laughs> Not Uncle Roger, surely. Well, we can, we can badge it. <laughs> I like that actually. I mean, quite a lot of these um, oh, I'm a Triumph Princess classes here, aren't there? There's one down there. There's three of them we've seen on here. Just oh, this one stall. Because yeah. we were one of the best selling, you know, models. Were they? At the time, yeah. There've been a lot of different variations over quite, you know, a few years. Oh, What's that one? That. that green one there. Oh, the Armby Southern one, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the green one there as well. Different mm. version. Mm. Anyway, let's show you this. This is that the old um, Triumph brakes when you see quite a lot of, but you don't see them boxed that often. No. How much is that one? Um, say seven on it. Right. So it's ah. Uh, 194 long wheel base brake van. Yeah. This is the Lima King class there. They didn't make many steam engines, Lima. Mm, 39. They're okay. We've seen this gentleman on quite a few occasions, haven't yes, we? Yes, yes, we have. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Had a busy morning. Oh, has it been yeah, really? Because it looks really busy today. It does. Mm. 
Oh, look at these. So I'm saying this is new packaging then, yeah. Yeah, they're made by um, somebody based in uh, Buxton. And oh, right. they made using old AMB wagons, locomotives on them. Um, but it's quite a vast range of stuff now, yeah. Oh. That's good. That's oh, that's good. interesting. Oh, it's easy down. Bobby. He wants to go hit the park, that's what it is. Don't say that word. <laughs> so look at this. What's that one? So that's a Wren. Car and Co. Swindon. £3.50 wagon. And it's got a cow on it. <laughs> so I'm guessing I was like it's just a colour it caught my eye yeah um, I was one of the ran with the metal chassis as well not all of them do yeah but most of them do where was it there oh there that was quite a nice colour mm. got tin plate wagons most of these are and you got this some of these, I think this is one, have opening doors. Oh, do they? It's a Wren. This one's got a plastic chassis. It's actually got plastic wheels. But, um, yeah, opening doors. It's like a horse, for horses, I think. Oh, right, well, okay. Which is £5.50. That's tempting, actually. So I've not got one of those. Yeah, and there's two there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, and you've got this one with the older... Hornby Double O couplings. So that is the Hornby Double O one, and that's the Wren version. Ah, oh, right, I see. Exactly the same, different couplings. Yeah. Slightly different colour, that would have been variations over time. I think they did them in a few liveries, obviously that says Southern on it, this one doesn't. Yeah. But again, Wren did take over the, the Hornby Double O range. Shall we move on down? Shall yeah. we move on down, Yes. Oh. Sorry, mate. It's all right. no. Oh, the chocolate's just for the children. No, your son was going, aren't you? <laughs> oh, <she's> going on. <laughs> That's why I see you. Thank so you. <laughs> I do remember it now from a few years. years ago walking around, but it wasn't this busy. It was. God, there's quite was a lot good. here, I'm so there surprised. Is, yeah. Little colours. Oh, what a green bed I those. Yeah. Turn it over. It's still the same. I will be, yeah. Yeah. I've not seen a green one. I know. So you've got the French TGV here. Oh, I presume right. that's an old Lima one. So it's 45 for the whole thing. And you've got a Eurostar though. I have no idea. This model has been reboxed for display purposes and is sold as new. So it's, it's an old Triang one. Sheep wagon. Hmm. Packaging produced by Colour Slide. So it's just new packaging, but uh, well, you've got a Cadbury's one now, look. Oh, <laughs> I like a Cadbury's one. You like one. that one, don't you? <laughs> That's different, isn't it? It is. Free freelance van, Cadbury's. Four hmm. pounds. That's not bad, is it? No, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, that's good. Yeah. They're not all... what you expect normally, is it? No, but when you get your old battered ones and you. Yeah. The old Lima ones, then you can do something to them, can't you? I mean, we do see a lot of graffiti trains, don't we? To look accurate, you need a lot of graffiti. Yeah. Oh, look at the yellow ones over there. 
Oh, yeah, the... Like um, boss. Mm. I think they were made by uh, British Leyland oh, no. as well. Awful things. Do you not like them? Nobody likes them. The real ones, anyway, the models are great. <laughs> I was looking at this here. Look at those coaches we got. <laughs> the Jou F ones. Ah, this is the restaurant yeah. car one. That looks like a Lima one. Yeah, that's the Lima one. Restaurant car. That's what we bought the other day, it was broke. Ah. It was missing all that bit, wasn't it? Which wasn't ideal. No. How much no. is that one? Is there a price on it? How much is this crane, please? Sorry. The, the yellow crane. You turn it off right, there's a price on the lid. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, right. 20. It's the Lima one, that's the... the yeah, you got the Hornby one as well. <laughs> See you later. Where's David? What have you seen? Oh, there he is. Really? See you later, Dave. <laughs> 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 we'll tell you how old you are on here. <laughs> Your mum's just found something that she had as a child. Yeah. She didn't have anything <laughs> as a child. <laughs> oh, there's one of those James Bond things we've got, isn't it? Ah, oh, right, yes. Yeah, didn't you get that one? I got both of those, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will do. And there's the Lotus. Oh, it's three for 12. Yeah. Not bad. Depending on what you've already got there, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think I've got that one. Which one's that? Doctor No. Goldfinger. What's that one? Goldfinger. No, Bob, so I'm not picking you up. Wait. What? Oh, wow, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Isn't it? I like that. I'm sat on the price on that. I can't see one. £12. £12. Pounds. That's cute. Cool, that. It's Kanex, isn't it? All the Beatles are in it. <laughs> right, so go and see what's down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at this. There's oh. a permanent way set actually came with the crane. Oh, wow. It's a lot newer this than a lot of the stuff we look at. Well, I'm saying 80s actually. Oh, that's nice. But that's isn't a type it? of loco you'd have on it. Oh, it's nice coming all sets though, isn't mm. it? A lot of the time. On this one. It's a Lotus. It is indeed, yeah. I think it's um, some work. Oh, we got the Triang Doctor, but in yellow. That's good. See many it? yellow ones, do we? No. That's nice. That's nice. It is nice, isn't it? Hmm. So you have to spend. Some... Hmm. It's the what? The dock. Oh, is it? It's working inside the dock. People watching the docks. Yeah. Quite Liverpool docks. Yeah, like yeah. That. that was a set that really had for the docks. Oh, was it? Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's good, though. I like that. It is. We've got a black one, haven't we? Yeah. And they need a red one as well. Yeah, there's a red one as well, isn't it? I do like the yellow one, though. Yeah. That's a favourite one, though. How much is that one? I, uh, how much is it? 45. <laughs> Quite a rare one, the yellow one, isn't it? It's an early one, you just feel the weight of it. Yeah, you feel, feel it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yard switcher. That's what it's called. A delivery is the docking delivery, you know, for the... Uh, all the papers are actually with it and everything. Love a date on it as well, won't it, then? Yeah. The date, the instructions. There you go, what's that? Can't see without my specs, but. Um, How much is the. What's that? That's heavy. How much is this one? It's nice, isn't it? That's an unusual one, that. You know what I mean? You don't see them anymore. What's a number on the box? You can tell I'm no railway, but. Uh, gosh, gosh. Sorry, I couldn't quite grab it. Ah. Uh, that's an Arnhem. <laughs> oh, 216. 
rocket launching wagon, 30 pound. You'll get rid of that because it's very rarely you see them all in one piece. <coughs> With the rockets as well because it loads, you pull it back and loads. Well, they had a truck that you fired it at a wagon and it came apart. If you pull that up, yeah, or pull that back, you can actually fire it. What's your eyes? Video control. Really? Yeah. See if the control is there and the propellers on them. There's a lot of nice old stuff here, obviously Harmony Double O set. It's, it's nice, isn't it? Metal, I think, then. Yeah, they're Look all metal. It. They're all metal, yeah. Good condition, aren't they? Yeah. I've just seen some mainline wagons. <laughs> really? <laughs> Over here. So we've got a lot of Lima diesels. I'll say. These are all... We fairly knew these. No, they stopped producing the mid, mid noughties Lima. Oh, they were right. taken over by Hornby. So I think it was in 2006, maybe. I'd have to check. What do you got? I can't see what that is. That's an old Triang one. Mm. It's a newer Hornby box. You've got 37, 47, 37. Not sure what that is. Edit that bit. <laughs> Stay on it. 60, that's it. All oh, these are 47s. It's yes. a Ren six wheel United Dairies tanker. Ah, right. It's like the same as the Guinness one we've got. Ah, oh, right, I see. Because yeah. they did them a few different liveries. Yeah. Very heavy, aren't they? Yeah, very. Yeah, I was mm. quite surprised. Metal. Shall we go here? Go on then. Oh. It's an unusual livery, isn't it? It's called the Dutch livery. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, that's a good price. Look at this here. Call me Princess Elizabeth. One of the newer ones with the smaller wheel, the yeah, better 15s. scaled wheels. Yeah. It's obviously missing the nameplates and stuff, but you can saw that. That's. What's that one? The middle one there? It's the Lima one. Oh, right, okay. It's been weathered. Yeah. This looks familiar. Oh, look. Quite nice hair. Look at these, don't they look so chunky, though? Mm, yeah, and grunks. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> It's not a bad price, is it? Railroad no. Crane 15. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's an awfully la long tank, isn't it? Hmm. Right, so what we got here? I think they're all the same. Yeah, they are. If you want. Oh, yeah, they're all the same, yeah. yeah. So you want a full set? There you go. Oh, right. You got it for a few years. You had the additional tender with the water oh. in like the British Railways white and blue. So it's actually really nice, that. It is, it does Quite look Quite rare it. with that tender, yeah. Oh, it's a whole set for 75. Mm. I got this package in again, though. Yeah, just. No, you wouldn't use it. I think it's just somebody's making boxes to put all the stuff in. Ah, oh, right, yeah. I see. Yeah, you know, it looks a bit more attractive than just a plain box, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not the original. Well, no, no, that's so. Um... All these. <laughs> They're old, aren't they? Yeah. So like these are the X Airfix and then Dayful then became Hornby coaches. We've got a few. So these are match up. Yeah. So the colours different with the ones we've got. But ours are the British Railways red. Ah, uh, right. Apart from maybe different wheels, which we can have a look on here. You know, they would match up. 
But again, you can re-wheel the old ones. Yeah. They're nice coaches. I do like them. Yes. The size of these, aren't they lovely? Yeah, oh gauge, aren't they? Nice. Very nice. Oh, the language. Mm, quite a lot of coaches here. It looks like all the coaches are ten pounds. Just look at the size of them. Yeah. Got half a edge stable, the main line. What have we got down here? <laughs> got these Lima motor rail car transporters. Oh, they were a very, yeah. very popular model back in the day. And they've got the rail as well, still. Yeah. So you put your own cars on. Yeah. And the mainline one. I've seen that livery before. Talk in the middle there. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, look at the stripes on that. <laughs> That's for the circus one, isn't it? <laughs> You've got ECC quarries next to it. Yeah, you won't lose that in a hurry. No. Man, you're on saying that. Look at the brightness mm. of that. DJS <laughs> Petroleum. So I like that livery there, you know, the network southeast. That's the same as the one we were looking down at before. Oh, yeah. In a different colour. Looks quite nice, though. Mm. It is a lovely blue, isn't it? Yes. Are there any coaches we need here? We haven't got the ones we want, unfortunately. There's a Lima 33, that's the green one. It's nice. Oh, right, okay. And you got this old Hi-Mac here. What is it? It's a Hi-Mac. Oh, right. Diesel hydraulic. Got an old one. I think that's older box than the actual loco is, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, because you've got the plastic couplings in, it's got the Ringfield motor, so that's probably dates from the late 70s. Whereas the packaging is probably the, the early 70s. Might be a good buy, that, actually. Yeah. Oh. 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 How can you tell? I'm just guessing. All oh, right. Could be wrong. But all sorts of even just the. So triangle. Yeah. What's this? Thank you, seeing. It's um, it's an airfix. Just needs buffers and a coupling. Two pound, it's a really good buy, isn't it? Yeah, going to hold it. Have yeah. a rummage. Thank you. Lima. What's that? That's H show again. French. All right. Jouet. So there's a lot of HO stuff in here. So you just got problems here with buffers missing and... That's like a TT. TTR, so it's tricked twin railway. Oh, right. So I presume that is, is it double or HO? Oh, yeah. Yeah, slightly smaller. Yeah. Look at this bin at the end. 
There's a lot of Lima stuff in here. That's Hornby. Sleeping car. They made them for an awful long time, those ones. Now that's mainline. It's quite dark. It's nice, that. I think it's been repainted or not. We've got a, quite a few of these. Oh, all right. Yeah. However, I've also seen something you like here. <laughs> I can find it. <laughs> Oh, look. A green one. There's so many green ones. No. What's that one? That's a lima. Is that an HO double there? £2 each, not. A lot of Lima diesels. Right, I'll pay for these anyway. I was looking at all these. Oh. I think you've already chosen your Christmas present, haven't you? Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> Some nice Pullman coaches there. So we've got the and business castle. That'll be the. 060 tank, Southern Railway, so we've got that, watch these ones here. I can't see what that is. Oh, that's the 8F, got that one. And... It's like an A4. So yeah, I think we've got the ones there. Oh, look, again. Yes, there's quite a few, don't we? Oh yeah, you alright? <laughs> We're going to look over here, have we? Well, we've got the old Holdix van, which are always popular. Oh, have we got one of those? <laughs> we have got one of those, yes. I didn't know Graham Parrish did the... Oh, the buildings, yeah. yeah. It looks like it's Engage though, doesn't it, that one? Oh, this is Engage. I love the old stuff. Yeah, well, a lot of this old, they put some of it in the newer package, haven't they? But I do like that look. The XJS is on that video the other day. He said I like the white one, like um, the, the same. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the return of the same. I think they did two series, 78, something like that. So that's the Kojak. The first that's XJS, yeah. That's that one. It's a nice. Buick, that's all I know. Uh, I think you have a, a figure that comes out of there, obviously Kojak or something about, I don't know. Who, I don't think he's bald actually, but he actually shoots. There's a gun that comes out of the car. It's a very basic mainline wagon. Yep. What's that one? Which one? These two. The... Those? Yeah. That's it's just a Fina motor oil tanker. Your HO, you are looking at that the other day. Your HO, class 33. Lima. In the first few years they did HO rather than double O. See how so much smaller your... they are there, can Yeah, you? well that's the double O one. There's a massive difference, isn't there? Yeah. I do like them in green because you have the white windows on them. Yeah. They are nice. Mm. For your X19 there with the, the Formula One boat, so to speak. It's nice that. <laughs> how much is that? It'll be a lot. I've never seen one for sale before, so it oh, will you be a lot. Yeah. So between that and the Lotus Elite, How it was down there. that one? The Hoggy Fiat, the Thanks. white one at the front. I think he said 70 quid earlier. Right, okay. Mm. Right, okay. No, that's fine. I can imagine, yeah. Can you believe it's that price? Yeah, God, yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's very rare you see an old car from the 70s with a box anyway, never mind with a boat. Right. It, it just looks unused, doesn't it? Mm. I'm just going to pick a few things out in here and have a bit more of a, a detailed look. So what we have here is a Triang Army Hymec. 
the same motor as in the dock shunter. Yes. Which is priced at... 30. So it's, it's in quite nice. good condition. Yeah. yeah. Obviously the big chunky wheels doesn't run great on the, the modern track. But the problem you get with these is because that's a sticker there. Yeah. When you take the body off, quite often the sticker can get damaged. Uh. But it is in very good condition. It's, it's unboxed, but it's very clean, you know, the plastic on it. So they're not a bad loco, actually. I mean, the Hi-Max are one of the most popular, you know, diesels. You know, the, oh, the real it? ones are, yeah. We were on the, you know, the Great Western Railway oh, yeah, region yeah. at the time. What else can I see? Uh, I have to choose a what? Oh, what's this? I've not seen that one. Hamleys. Oh, the toy shop, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You could probably could have bought it from Hamleys. Is that in that one, or is it? No, it's um, it's a livery came in. Oh. Which I couldn't tell you what it is, so <laughs> we'll move on. This way. I love that you can get all these bits and pieces. Yeah, let's have a look at some bits. So we've even got the chassis for wagons when you find a body. Huh? You got these old we wheels. Oh, what have you got there? That's, I don't know what loco that's off. Very useful though. Well, it's always good to have spares, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very useful. Look at them all. Like a little treasure trove, mm. isn't it? You got some buffers. You got everything here. This You've got your guidebook to tell you how much everything's worth. Mm -hmm. Lamp hooks. Oh, yeah, we've seen them on some of the. Uh, yeah. Heritage Railways have been on, haven't we? Have we? We've seen yeah. them swapping over as well. Oh, right. Look at the size of the wheels on those. Mm. Again, you know, they get damaged and yeah. you don't want to throw your loco away. I so. think that's to the bag rather than whatever that is. The lamps. So these are, I think. Two pound. Two pound each. Oh, right, okay. That's alright, isn't it? That one, yeah? Aww. Bigger than dog. So let's have a look at its face. Put it down a bit so I can see its face proper. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, please. Fine stuff toys. Yeah. They're not even train related, are they? Well, I'm sure there was a training bag post there. Yeah. <laughs> I think there was. Really? <laughs> Don't give it the dog. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it haunted? I still like these at the back. What's that? That. Oh, the 08? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Nicky that likes the 08? Yes. See, girls together. Did you bought one the other day, didn't you? Yeah. I've been down the bottom here, have we? What have you found? I was just looking at this um, car, believe it or not. It looks like a Lamborghini Marzal, which is a prototype car from 1968. I think it was just done for a one-off motor show. Oh, I'm, I'm correct. Not nerding there. <laughs> but then they did a... I think the Jaguar did something similar for another prototype. Oh. I think it's a Bertone design. But you see the hexagonals on the... The engine cover there. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. They actually still use that on some of the Lamborghinis, you know, just in, as design cues on oh. the interior, on some of the exterior as well. So it's just a, a prototype, but then the, the doors lift up. They took some of the design information for it from the Espada. Oh, right, okay. We'll start a car channel one day. <laughs> <laughs> They're five pounds each, if you're interested. Um, no, no. Well, if I was going to have anything for five pounds here, I'd have that um, Mercedes Pullman. Wow, how many? Oh, it looks a bit big. 600 up. Pullman. Very nice cars. 
I think even the doors on these are hydraulic, even in the 1960s. You know, really? They actually help you know, they close themselves, yeah. Size of the writing on that. The Royal Mail one? Yeah. That's just the same as the one we've got, but obviously that's the Great Western one. Oh, Pauline. What, what have you seen? The Thomas. Oh, look. They're the six wheel coaches that you like, but they are Annie and Clarabel. <gasps> Oh. We've got the names on the. <laughs> How much are they? The first underneath? Tenner. Oh, that's not bad, is it? It's not, but we need a Thomas. That's true. <laughs> we haven't got one. We still haven't got that far, have we? We've only got that as well. That's, uh, that's Hornby as well. Look at these kits here. Hmm? Is that something you'd like to try next? Cute, aren't they? Good price though, aren't they? Yeah. Because they'll be very detailed. Oh, I think okay. we've got a, one of these as a kit and it's absolutely fantastic quality. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, there's stuff here though. <laughs> Not bad for £20, is it? No. So it is on the list I've made today. Oh, is it? You yeah. made today? Mm. I added it to the list this morning. Oh, right, okay. So not since you've got here and seen it. Are they, it's actually got the remnants of traction tyres on. Oh, right. The only thing that puts me off is there's another one. Oh, well, that's an Airfix one. There's another one on the other stall as we came in, you know, with all the detail on the front. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to see if that's still there. Yeah, see, because I know you said they've added to it on the other one, didn't you? Is that the one with the windscreen wiper? Yeah, let's go and see that one again. Mm. You've got a few of us after, actually. Well, when, I mm. try to sell them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If, because I, if I buy them, I don't perceive them with the right to click on them. So yeah. they're all nice. You can see they're all in good. Is it cash only here? Cash only, daily cash. Yeah. That's the problem. We never have enough cash on us. He's bought a few bits and pieces, that's all. But mm. Which ones were you after? Just to... Show me. Um, I wanted the city of Glasgow. Yeah, it's it's not. No. Really, as you can see, but I priced it again. I, I yeah. Priced yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, if it was perfect, it'd be what, 150 quid or something. Yeah. But the the Sonoma Grizzly is really really nice. Oh, and this one as well. What's that one? What is it? Well, it's the same as a Mallard. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's two um, Stanley Pacific so ones, Birmingham and Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one's nice, isn't it? We're getting a bit closer. Yeah. Oh, that one. That's yeah, it does run nice. I think he's, if he was going to go for it's one, it's It's an isn't it? You can, some of the ones with the more damaged paint ones can be the best runners. <laughs> That's what I like about these ones. They do have the best, the best motors in these two. I'm not keen on the ones they put in the Bullard Pacifics. When they're great, you know, when they're running, they're great. But they do seem to get more problems. Yeah. What's the best you could do as on the Dresler? On, the, on that one? Yeah. I'll, I'll let you turn it off for 65. Let, that, that's, that's fair. Okay, we'll do that for 65 Have then. you got enough cash on you? We'll go start for January, that one. 4th of December, that's... 16th of April. We've got something here about the Beatles. Of July. The Beatles at their first radio interview on October the 20th, 1962 at Hume Hall in Port Sunlight on the Wirral, England. This interview took place after the release of Love Me Do, before they had a number one song. Not as good as the Rolling Stones. Oh, you can get yourself no. caught up there. I do like the Beatles though, I just prefer the Stones. But what Fair a lovely enough. building. It's a lovely tree. 
Or something with a bit of colour. Yeah. It is nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Was that more Beatles related paraphernalia on the wall here? So refugee families accommodated in Hume Hall in 1914. Oh, look at that one. What's this here? Multicultural show here at Hume Hall Port Sunlight, starring the world's, the North's number one rock combo, the fabulous Beatles. Not as good as a stones. I think they're on. Yeah. Right, so that was the Port Sunlight Toy Fair. Um, thanks for Alan and Dave for having a nice chat with us and explaining the, how this thing's getting up and running again. The next one's on in January. You've bought a Beatles Yellow Submarine Connects kit. I know. Happy I've bought Christmas. A, after Christmas, yeah. <laughs> I bought a couple of bits. We'll show that in the next vlog. I um, don't want to spoil it for you. But yeah, fantastic venue. It was only three pounds each to get in, wasn't yeah. it? So um, yeah. we're definitely back here because it's such a lovely location as well and not far from the seaside. Win-win. <laughs> it's win-win. So now we're going to take the dog down there and let him have a run around. Thanks for watching. Thank See you in the next video. Bye.